it's for you and me, you and me. So let's discover love's great wonder. Let's discover the spell we are under. Well, the first love was decent. Second love cracked a little. I apologize. It's the first time I've tried to sing love without a voice. And um, my voice seems to be out. I didn't sing my song that I wrote for my other show, Fireside Tales, before. That's the name of the song. I didn't sing it this week. It was yesterday. My voice was worse yesterday. So I'm on the mend. I'm feeling better, but my voice isn't better. But I went with something. something that wasn't COVID because the kids had it and they were all tested and just was a bug. Around. Took my voice. beverage can't fix. Welcome to the love show. I'm Merlin Malilly. Welcome to the love show where we grapple with the question, what is love? Today we want to know, is love sacred? pouring outside and the studio has a tin roof so I don't know if you can hear it but I love the sound of rain on a tin roof it's nice anyway <laughs> let's start by defining sacred Miriam Webster defines sacred as an adjective 1. A. Dedicated or set apart for the service or worship of a deity. B. Devoted exclusively to one service or use as a person of purpose, a fund sacred to charity. To a worthy of religious veneration. Holy in all caps and blue. I've never seen a word in all caps and blue. It's something new. It must be sacred. B entitled to reverence and respect. Three of or relating to religion, not secular, or profane. Wow. I wish I had found this definition years ago when I was trying to define secular. Some of you watched me stumble through that. Because I'm a druid and... Druids are earth worshippers who believe firmly in the sacred feminine. Most churches consider me and my religion profane. Therefore, non-secular. I think. <laughs> so, their doctrine... No, 
I find most of their doctrine to be profane. Because it does not give um, it does not give any attention to the sacred feminine. None of their doctrine touches upon the sacred feminine, and they don't consider femininity to be. Good, even. <laughs> it's really kind of sad. So it seems secular and non secular all depend on where you stand. I think sacred might be the same way. For instance, I consider the earth and trees in particular sacred. Notre Dame in Paris burnt, or part of it burnt. And I saw on the internet that they were bragging about how they cut down thousands of old growth trees to rebuild the church. And I commented that I thought that was disgusting because I think trees are sacred and they think buildings are. Strangely, I've been to Paris, and up on Montmartre, there sits a church that overlooks not only Notre Dame, but the forest also. And the church is called Sacré-Cœur, in English, the Sacred Heart. Right here, I'd like to pause a moment while I'm dogging the church to pray for Pope Benedict. Apparently, they're seeking prayers for Pope Benedict. And um, I've actually quoted him on the show. And he's, he's my favorite pope, I think, of all the popes in my lifetime. I would, and probably throughout even other lifetimes maybe. <laughs> I, think, I think Pope Benedict is my favorite Pope. So I'd like to take a moment to just say a little prayer for Pope Benedict. Give him some love. Apparently he needs it. Thank you Pope Benedict for all your wisdom and for being a good example to other Popes. Gave Pope Benedict a little love. So where our criticisms of the church aren't. Totally. Taken as. Uh, that I, I don't hate the church. Let's not go crazy. I'm just not a Christian. And I just don't like people who cut down trees. <laughs> I hold them sacred. See, this is where we get into this weird battle because they hold buildings sacred and I hold trees sacred and they build their buildings with my trees, but only by killing, only by killing them. Please pardon me and my voice and I my, may or may not be running a fever right now, so I am... Um, I'm not my sharpest. I'm not feeling so happy. So, I guess it is all about what exactly you consider sacred. Most religions, most religious doctrine, finds love sacred. The Bible seems to understand what I mean by this. However, Bible historians or Bible thumpers, if you will, seem to misunderstand some things that we have quite cleared up here on The Love Show. We have established on many a love show now that love is not sex. 
sex is not love. We have even found that we confuse the two at our own peril. They are just not the same thing. The Bible people, not the Bible itself, seem to think that love and marriage and love and sex are the same things. So they are confused. We have also found that love is not marriage. Right here on the love show. Some things are just not love. We have found love to be truth. So if I tell you truly, these things, sex, marriage, they are not love. I speak the truth. It's love. Perhaps one can make sex sacred via love with marriage. But why? Because love is sacred? When the Bible talks about love, now this is my own interpretation from reading it myself, not someone else's interpretation. But when the Bible talks about love, it is usually talking about God's love, which is, to me, at least, sacred love. We here at The Love Show have found love to be God and God to be love. As an earth worshiper, I have even found my God, or should I say Goddess, the Earth, and the Sacred Feminine to be love here on the Love Show. So this is sacred love. I'd say the Church of the Sacred Heart would be referring to God's heart, which is love. I mean, if God is love, then mustn't God's heart be love? Well, if God is earth and God's core is her heart, is that love? I think if it is where all things earthly originate, which is what they say, even scientifically, then I would say, yes, even then God's heart is love and sacred. But sacred only to those who believe in God? I don't know. The truth is that which exists, whether you believe in it or not. If love is God and Love is truth, and love is earth, and love is the sacred feminine, then isn't love sacred? Still, I think it might only be sacred to those of us who believe in love. Do you have to believe in love to be in love? Not really. Do you have to believe in love to be loved? No, actually, babies don't even know what love is. Never mind believing it. Heck, we here at The Love Show, exploring what love is every week, are still not even sure what love is. 
But we believe in love. Babies are loved. We proved on our necessity show that love is a necessity. Just the fact that a baby has survived proves that that baby was loved by someone. Children are loved. So we grow babies with love into children that are loved. They can't help it. We proved here children are made of love. Like God. And thusly, they are love. Are children sacred? They should be. They should be held sacred because they are love. Some people ask, is nothing sacred anymore? Christmas has gone very commercial. Easter has as well. I can understand why people ask this, but we have found today that, yes, some things are still sacred. God, for instance, is still sacred. No matter what God or goddess, or even if you believe in them, they all love and all are sacred to someone. Why are they all sacred? Because they are all love. Because, friends, love is sacred. That is that. That's what we found today. Love is sacred. This love show will air on New Year's Day. So, happy freaking New Year 2023. Woo! <laughs> At last, 2023. Very happy to say goodbye to 2022. My dad passed away in 2022. I think my dad may have been love. And to me, he was pretty sacred. And I guess we will always, he will always be. He will always be sacred. Because love is sacred. And God is sacred. And love is God. And love is always growing and never dies. Or does it? Another love show. More love shows in 2023. So may love be ever present in your new year. Am I? <laughs> I love you all. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year of love.